Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you to get a Bible. Turn with me to Romans chapter 12. Today we'll be looking at verse number 18. Get a cup of coffee. Sit with me. Let's have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. A friend, the Bible says over here in Romans chapter 12, verse 18, If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Friend, today I want to talk to you about the importance of being more like Christ and especially loving like Christ. My friend, is there someone who just don't really want to be your friend? Think about that. Regardless of how nice you are to them or even how you attempt to adjust your behavior to their preferences, they continue to dislike you and may even badmouth you to others. How in the world should you respond to such? Well, first, realize that there were people who rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. They rejected his most loving, wise, and wonderful person. Uh, and they just rejected the greatest person that ever lived. Friend, don't take it personally. At times, what will bother others about you is something within themselves. It's not you at all. There are a number of things beyond your control that may cause others to feel uncomfortable, may cause others to feel vulnerable, or others to feel even jealous when you're present such as their past experience, personal sins, and maybe even their failures. But secondly, realize that you never have the right to be cruel to them. Even when they're unkind to you, you still have a duty to represent the Lord Jesus and be forgiving regardless of what is done to you or regardless of how you may be rejected. Why is that? Well, because your ultimate responsibility, my friend, in this life is to honor God. And there are always others judging Him by how you respond. You hear me say every day, your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read, so let others see Christ in you. I know sometimes that this struggle is hard and it's uh, difficult to understand, but friend, Ask Him to help you to be kind even when you're mistreated so that others may see His love in action through you. And I remind you again, people are watching you. Realize that your hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ because He has an unfailing love for you. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, He loves you. I like to say that He loves us in spite of ourselves. Pray with me. Father, thank you for loving us in such a mighty way. And help us to always realize that uh, others in this world uh, may not take a liking to us, but Lord, that we can still show them the love of Jesus. And I pray you'll help us to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, do go out into your world today. Make a big difference in it. Remember to smile as you go. Let others see Christ in you. Your life could be the only Bible some will ever read. So it's so important that they see Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.